Hello ladies, my name is Tina Kvirkic and I am Northern Stamper. I am a Canadian Independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and if you ever need to reach me, just reach out at northernstamper at gmail.com. Today I'm going to show you another great card using Friends Are Like Seashells. And what we're going to be using out of this one is really just the sand dollar and some ink. So I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful card using uh, this stamp set. So, let's get started. What we're going to start off with is the two colors. I'm, the main one I'm going to use first is called Pool Party. We're going to use that. And we're going to use the um, sand dollar on block number C. So this is a pretty well standard block. This is a great block to start out with if you have um, a limited supplies. Start off with block C or block D and you can get really far on this. So let's grab us a piece of basic white cardstock. Now this is five and one quarter across and four inches um, uh, going down. So five and one quarter by four. Okay, and what's going to happen is this is just slightly smaller than the card base so that when we place it on the card base it will have a nice edge all the way around. Okay, so let's start off with um, the basic white. And what I'm going to do is I am going to start off I'm going to ink up the sand dollar now, because these are polymer stamps and there is no give to it, you need to have something underneath the paper. So I'm going to be using this, this, foam, this foam sheet from Stampin' Up! And it will give me just enough give as I step, press on the stamps. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start from one end and I am going to kind of start in the middle and I'm going to go across and you'll see that some of it falls off the page and that's okay. So that was the first row. The next row I'm going to go is uh, kind of in between. I'm going to go left and right. And we're just going to continue this all the way across and up. So I'm going to fill up the whole sheet with these sand dollars. So I'm always going to start kind of off. There we go and it's filling it all up as we go across. This is a great stamp set. I can do so many things with this stamp set. It is so worth the money. Um, I highly recommend it if you have any kind of beach theme and stuff like that. So, let's take a look on the next step. Okay, so I'm going to take that away. So, as I mentioned, Friends are like seashells. This is a huge uh, stamp set. It has 23 um, polymer stamps in here, so it is just filled. And you can find it online at my store or drop me an email at northernstamper at gmail.com to find out more. This stamp set runs for $35 plus shipping and hand, uh, taxes. But it is fantastic. I've used it for so many different cards. It is ju And I'm going to be using it for some scrapbook layouts I got coming up. So, anyways, so I have the sand dollars all punched out, I mean all stamped. And what I'm going to do is I need to get a scrap of basic white because I'm going to do one more sand dollar and I am going to run it through the mini stamp and boss machine so I want this um, sand dollar that I'm going to cut out a little darker so I'm not going to be using the pool party I'm going to be using the co uh, coastal cabana it is very close in color but it is a little bit uh, stronger in color so I'm going to do that, okay, and you'll see it's very, very close in color, but it stands out a little bit more, so it will just pop on that card. Okay, so I'm going to get the stamp, mini stamp and boss machine, and we're going to cut this little guy out. So there are coordinating dies with this stamp set that you can get, and I just have the little sand dollar one I'm going to show you, 
and you can see how it just fits on really nicely like that and I will cut it out so let's go get the machine this is a super duper little machine so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna it they've numbered the plates so I just need to place number one place the die cutting edge down so this is plate number one and I need to add plate number two and that's going to be my cutting surface this is a great little machine so if you are um, tight on space um, it's a great price it is um, it's about in the $80 mark. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive tape on just so it won't move as I run it through. And I can easily just peel that off. And I'm going to take my plate number two on top. And I am going to, I need to have two hands to do this, and I'm going to run it through. Okay. You can see my cutting plates already all have been used quite a bit, but that's okay. It doesn't harm it at all, and it, this should last me at least a year or two for cutting. Okay, so I'm going to peel that off. All right, see? Yeah, just take off the die, take off the tape. Okay, I'll use that and put it back in with the other dies. I don't want to lose it. So there I have a nice little sand dollar cutout. Now, I'm not going to put away my mini cut and boss machine because now I'm going to cut something else out. So Stampin' Up! has come out with uh, some more great dies. And this is called the Tailor Made Tag dies. And they are various sizes. And what I'm going to do is cut out some tags, just so you can see. Just move these around. They're sliding all over. And I'm just going to cut out two using one of the the tags here. Okay, so let's get some paper and get some cutting. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the first one in white. Okay, again I'm just going to add a little bit of tape so it doesn't slide around. Pardon my arm. And just put it on there so it just sticks. I just find it a little easier. Washi tape works well. Okay. And I'm going to run it through again, put the top plate on, hold the top, run it through, okay, and I'm just going to pop off the white. And there it comes off. Okay, now I need to cut one more piece in a pool party color, and I'm going to show you <coughs> the largest tag that I had already cut is um, one size up but I decided I don't want to use that larger size so I'm just going to cut this one down so I'm just going to sit it on top and run it through okay give it a little hand going through this is a great little machine to have close by and I'll pop it out put it with that one and you can see the the different sizes of the the little tags so this one on the edge around is the largest and it keeps going down so if I wanted to I could have actually layered this um, all the way down to a smaller size but yeah, that looks pretty good huh but I don't want to I want to have them both the same size the tags the same size so let's put these back in with the other ones Okay, the tailor-made tags are new in the new annual, so they are stitched around the edge. As you can see, stitched around, they got the holes. This one is like one of the, uh, a standard little tag. Uh, and they've got reinforcements so that you can place them on, on the little holes there. I always think getting anything that does labels and, and dies or tags like that are fantastic. What I want to do now is I want to stamp on a sentiment on this um, piece of basic white. All right, so let's stamp on our sentiment. Again, I'm going to use the Coastal Cabana because it is a little darker and it will show up. I'm going to ink that up. 
And this sentiment says, I love you to the beach and back. Isn't that a nice saying? Okay, place that off. And I am going to grab some of this fantastic pool party. It's like sheer ribbon, so it's fantastic. And what I'm going to do is I want to uh, make so that these two tags are together. Okay, so I'm just going to try and feed it through the little holes. There we go, got it through the holes. Pull the edge through. Okay, and I'm just going to leave it like that. So let's bring in the other elements to our card. Okay, again, pool party card base. So let's glue that, um, glue the down the, the card, the mat, with all of our sand dollars on it. I'm using the Seal Plus Adhesive. I don't use very much of it. It sticks really, really well, so I'm going to put that down. Okay. And next, what I'm going to put on are the little tags. And I am going to have them so that they sit apart a little bit. Oh, got to make sure I have glue on that white one. And I'll put it on an angle. Voila. And let's bring in some dimensionals to pop up that sand dollar. Okay. A couple of dimensionals, just to make sure it's secure. There we go. And just to make sure that it pops, let's add some Winka Stella. Now this is a little paintbrush, so filled with little bits of glitter. So it looks really nice. So I'm just going to do a little bit around the edge, kind of painted. This uh, Wink is still actually has lasted me quite a long time. For $11, this, this pen has been going for like forever. Just be careful as you get close to the, to the ink. You don't want to smudge it with any of the um, paint from the Wink Estella itself. So I'm going to try and stay away from the ink that I've stamped. So I'm just doing the whole sand dollar in the white area. There we go. Okay. Last but not least, I'm going to secure down these little... I guess I could just leave them like that. Let's tidy them up a little bit. Okay. I'm going to angle cut those. Always make sure you're using sharp scissors. There we go. And look at that. The card is done. What do you think? Don't know if you can see the Wink Estella. It's actually really pretty. Sparkle on that. Love it. Just using the Friends Are Like Seashell stamp set. It's fantastic. If you have any questions, drop me an email at northernstamper at gmail.com. If you create a card like this, let me know and I will post it on the community page. Thanks a lot and I hope I've inspired you.